Well, we're recording. Uh, I can't remember the last time I posted the video. I know it's been a while. Uh, it's September 1st. And, uh, we're making hay. I don't know if you can see you over there. Uh, I got my dad around bailing. Uh, this is the last of the hay. It's been a busy summer. And a wet one. Uh, my son was born in the beginning of June. And he takes up a lot of time. So I haven't had time to put up any videos. I got a bunch on my phone. It just it won't let me upload them from my phone. So I got to put them on my computer. And then upload them. Just haven't had the time for that. So. Uh, it's been abnormally wet. 30 plus inches I think for the year. Uh, funny story is, we started mowing over there where he's bailing. Today's Friday, September 1st. Uh, Wednesday, yeah, it was supposed to be dry. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So he started mowing over there. And almost got that chunk done. And it rained while he was mowing. So he quit mowing and mowed the rest of it. Uh, Thursday it's got a little bit of green in it in spots it's 90% dry that's been raked for probably two hours now so it's plenty dry I checked it uh, what else is going on green markets are terrible but they came back today for some reason uh, I sold the chopper Put it on auction time. Kind of a sad day for that, but uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's taking up too much of my time. Makes my fall incredibly long and takes a week to 10 days out of my spring and that hurt me this year because I have to look, but I'm pretty sure I didn't get done planting beans till June 28th and I rented uh, the neighbor's planter. And we was running two planters as soon as it was fit enough, we'd go. Uh, finished up like midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning on the 28th, I do believe it was. Got some really good looking crops and some so-so and everything in between. So. Watch him round bale for a little bit. Yeah, we're still recording. Thought we lost you. Uh, yeah, it's been a crazy summer. Trying to get hay made. And then September now, the dews are heavy. They're not usually off till 10 or 11 o'clock. And any part of the field that's got shade on it, it's not going to be dry so on this farm we'll probably uh, bail the middle and I'll rake the outsides out into the middle of the field so they can get sun on them there's uh, 17 acres here A chunk there A chunk where I'm sitting is over them trees and then a jog over here behind me. Looks like he's got another bale. It's pretty good stuff. Nice grass, eh? A little bit of Timothy in it. Some orchard grass. No alfalfa. I used to custom bale this for a horse farm. It was like 10 or 11 or 12 acres of nice pasture, high tensile fence, and they used to board horses, and the lady that was taking care of it, she uh, she's got another job and said this is going to be too much. And I said, well, if the owner of the farm 
was interested in renting it out, leasing it out. I said I'd be interested in putting some cattle on the pasture and making the hay. So now I just gotta find some cattle. But the bad thing is it's September, the grass is pretty much gonna be done growing here in another month, so it'll be on the feeding hay, but there'll be plenty of hay here. Probably only get two or three or four or five, maybe half a dozen. Brood cows and throw a bull in or something with them. So, uh, five minutes. Yeah, the chopper selling is not the way I wanted to go out, but poor dairy industry, they're, they're struggling something bad. And the guys are struggling to pay their bills, and I mean, I feel for them, but I gotta watch my bottom line. And I don't want to get too far extended on some of them. And I mean, I'm still owed from last year for a couple, last year's corn chopping for a couple customers. So I just made a decision one day, decided to get out. So. I think it'll be for the better. It'll let me concentrate on my farming and keep growing. It's more time and more time to more planting. And Cause it'll be a struggle for a couple of years. I mean, grain prices the way they are. I mean, we can't we can't afford to buy any equipment. And we'll have to do everything with the 4440 and 4020 and the 6200 again this coming year, I think. I don't know. I need a sprayer, a tractor, and a bean planter. I'd really like to update round balers, but the price of green and just it is just not gonna justify. It's not gonna pencil out. I mean we're uh sub eight dollar beans i ain't gonna cut it 330 corn i think make 780 beans and 330 corn i mean that's it's usually a buck and a half below production cost on a good year i think it'll be a all right year for me but them late beans if we get an early frost uh gonna be ugly but the only good thing is we've had the rains so they should be okay I got 20 acres in a 60 acre field that I started planting and got rained out monsoon got busting rain and came back three days later and finished the field and went on to the next one just to get done and that 20 acres I started out at they uh half of them broke their necks trying to get through the ground because it got so hot and dry so fast so they don't look the best I hope they do 20 bushels an acre and the rest of the farm does 40 at least I'll get an average of 30 I guess I don't know But I definitely need a sprayer. That pull type sprayer I've been using, the booms are wore out on it. And that new farm I picked up is so rough, it just it finished them off. They're bent, broke. I want to get a self propelled sprayer because there's business out there for doing some custom work, but I don't know. I don't want a payment. Got rid of the chopper, that's one less payment. I paid off that 6200 this year. The only thing I got to pay on is the combine. And knock on wood, we're going to have enough custom work this year to do it, make its payment. So, And Trump's going to bail us out. I'm not really excited about that. I'd rather have free trade and the market back than to get a handout. So... Oh, he's going to kick this one out on a hill. This ought to be interesting. Uh, he 
Yeah, good move. That kicker on that baler, it'll launch them. And somebody's texting me. So, we'll finish bailing tomorrow, would be my guess. I want to bail a couple hundred square bales and put in the barn down there. In case I do get some cattle this fall, and uh, I'll probably just, I don't know, I might move all these round bales home and just put a round bale in the back of my truck, bring it over and roll it out to the cattle. But, uh, a couple hundred square bales in the barn would be nice if the weather's crappy or something, I can just throw out a couple square bales, get them by till I can get a round bale over here. For as hot as it is, I figured this hay would be a lot drier than it is, but tomorrow we're supposed to be good till tomorrow evening we're supposed to get rain showers again, so as long as we get close to half of this rolled up, square bale load maybe this evening, unload it in the morning, square bale another load and throw it off tomorrow, I'll be happy. Then we gotta work on the combine, start getting it ready. It needs a little bit of work. Actually, for the first time ever, we're gonna have John Deere come down, having some electrical problems with it. So they're gonna have a mechanic come down. We're gonna put a new, uh, new control board or two in it, I guess, is what the issue is. So, good lord. Everybody wants to talk to me. Where are we at? Uh, we're well over 10 minutes, and this camera gets hot to hold on to, and it's hot out. So, I'll get some more video tomorrow. I'm going to get back on it. Video every day, like I said I was going to do. Every day I'm working. Uh, yeah, Monday's Labor Day. I almost forgot about that. So I think I'm going to take off Sunday and Monday and spend some time with the family and uh, go from there. We'll catch you tomorrow.